For the last 20 years, I've been performing uh, only specialized spine surgery. I was in Germany uh, traveling th uh, through a few spine centers and I saw a couple of surgeons using the earlier version of the robot. And what that got me thinking at that time was, why not use this for complex deformity? And then I came back and told uh, Dr. Reddy, why don't we get this technology? It took us a year, but we are the first in South Asia. Traditionally, spinal surgery involves fixing of implants. Now, essentially what the robot does, it works through a workstation. We feed information uh, of the patient's spine in the form of a CT scan, which is done before surgery, into the, into the machine, the workstation. The workstation then, after we feed information as to where we want the implants fixed, the robot during surgery moves to that precise location, right down to the millimeter. Here we are getting with the help of a robot and the computer, a precision which was never before achieved. And that is what we want. So it makes surgery precise, safe. Also, the fixation of the implants is much better than when we do freehand. It's all about our patients. It's not about the technology or the complex spinal surgery that we do. You have heard us uh, talk about that many times in the past. We'll continue to do that, but we are happy to see patients like the four on the stage. I have suffering from low back pain around two months or six weeks. They just they said you have herniated this, just you need to be bed rest. I told them I have a job, I have a family. They said no, there is no way you have to be bed rest. I was walking down the hill and I noticed my left foot was kind of slapping like a child would do. They're running down, kind of slaps, and they make noises. Uh, my daughter Stephanie, she was having severe back pain. When we were with the doctor, the doctor says to me, your daughter has something called adolescent scoliosis. I suffering from, for three years. I start find a place to get a surgery, but also in South Sudan there, me, I'm worried about this surgery and all the people that tell me this surgery is very difficult. If you do this surgery, maybe you are not work again. Um, I was having extreme difficulty walking when I we went to a doctor, when we got an MRI and had it read. Uh, she looked at me and looked at the, the MRI and looked at me again and just, you know, uh, kind of shook her head. For me, I come here, but also I'm worried because I am a mother of five children. If I get, I do the surgery, I'm not working again. It's very difficult for my for my family. That they wouldn't advise surgery for a minor. That was their take. That there was no need. That there was nothing that could be done. So I have a lot of friends, Indian friends, working in Iraq. They advised me to Apollo Chennai. A friend of mine in England gave me the phone number, the email address, and everything for Dr. Sajan. 
So they told me exactly the same word. He is the hero of Spain. He is number one in India. So from his resume and from a few good answers that I enjoyed, uh, I decided I would go with Apollo Hospital. So he explained to me the new technology, robotic assist uh, spine surgery. So I was trustful 100%. I called Germany and I said, have you ever heard of this technology that they're talking about here in India, something called robotics? Do you know what it is? They didn't have a clue. So I came here, had all my tests. By five o'clock the day I arrived, I'm wiped out. And the doctor walks in and goes, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. And I went, surgery was done about six days ago. The second day they came to me, move your legs, move your toys, everything was perfect. The next day after they said, okay, come to sit. I was thinking that they are kidding me. So they make me sit. Day after they make me walk. Day after I climbed the stairs, one level up, one level down. I was surprised. With every passing day, the improvement has been amazing. I am going to tell you that. Now I'm okay, even I'm happy. I'm working now all the day. I'm working, I'm going, I'm coming, I'm sitting. It's not like last time. And the fact that from all over the world, people can come here and be sure that they will get the best in Medicare. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to you. So uh, thank you all, J2, doctors, nurses, staff, you know, everybody. It was great.